Hello, welcome to Cloud Stop Motion. Let me give you a quick walkthrough. So as you can see, we've already got our scene set up here. And to create an animation, all I'm going to do is capture a series of frames by clicking on the red camera icon. This ghosting effect you can see is just the last frame overlaid on the live image, which is useful for seeing how much you've moved your character from the last frame. And now that I have several frames, I can press play to see what I've created so far. If you need to delete a frame because you've made a mistake or you've captured your hand accidentally, all you have to do is select the frame and then press the delete icon in the top left hand corner. You can use the slide on the right to zoom out of the timeline and when you do that you'll see the individual frames merge into one clip. I can then copy the clip and paste it a few times to lengthen the animation. Playing back the animation, the movement doesn't look quite right as his hand's just going down and down. So what I can do is I can select the clip and then just press reverse. And now the movement looks much more fluid, like his hand's actually moving up and down. Going to the settings on the left, we can play about with the frame rate. The default setting is 12, but if you want to change it, you can increase it for smoother motion at the cost of a shorter animation, or decrease it, which will have the opposite effect. Now I want to add some sound to my animation, so I'm going to click on the speaker icon and then navigate to the cloud icon, and here I'll be greeted with all the default sounds that come included with Cloud Stop Motion. Once I've chosen my music, all I have to do is drag it and drop it into the timeline from the project sound library. If the music is too long, just select where you'd like to cut the music, and then click on split sound to divide the track into two, and finally delete the bit we don't want. If you want to fine tune the cut, you can also do this too. As well as adjust the volume. or add a fade, which you can adjust in the timeline like so. If you have a microphone, you can also record your own sounds, for example, like dialogue. Hello. Hello. Hello! And feel free to play around with the pitch too. Hello! 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 The next thing I want to show you is how to add text. Here, I want to add a title. And it's really easy to adjust by clicking on the text and then changing the default font Color Properties Shadows and Outlines and even motion effects, or transitions as they're more commonly known.
Moving on to the background, I can change the color if I want to, but what I really want to do is add a new image. Cloud Stop Motion comes with hundreds of background images for you to use. And I'm going to use this one because I like space. Because we've added a title, the music is too short now, but all I have to do is click on the track and extend it. Time for some speech bubbles, I think. I can play around with the speech bubble by moving it. I can flip the speech bubble either vertically or horizontally, and I can even change the speech bubble style. Similar to the other text, I can change the shadows as well if I like. Personally, I want my speech bubble to have a transition, so that's what I'm adding here. can fine-tune the transition by scrolling to the bottom and adding a keyframe. This is basically another way of you telling Cloud Stop Motion that a certain element, in our case the speech bubble, has to be in a certain position at a certain time. Time for the finishing act. Let's add some credits. Again, I can play around with different font styles. And if I scroll down, I'll be able to see the entirety of the credits. The last thing to do is to extend our music. And now the best bit watching our finished movie. To export your movie, click on the button in the top right where it will be downloaded onto your computer as an MP4 file after you have clicked Start Export. And that's the basics of Cloud Stop Motion. To sign up, go to cloudstopmotion.com and register for a free account. We also do accounts for schools and organisations featuring a powerful admin console for teachers to easily manage their students' accounts. Everything is automatically saved to the cloud so you can view, edit, delete and export your students' films at any time and from anywhere. Sign up today and get 500 megabytes cloud storage for free with a personal account or 2 gigabytes to share between students if you're part of a school or organisation. You can contact us at email via animate at cloudstopmotion.com and if you have any questions or queries, we'll always be on hand to help.
Oh.